building the Rogue River Valley Railroad from Medford to Jacksonville was not an easy proposition. Uh, it was actually, uh, it took several years. The, the initiative to build it started in the middle 1880s, but it wasn't until 1890 that it finally took place. There were problems with, uh, they had, I think they had a succession of charlatans who said they could build it and, and never really did. They finally did finish the railroad and uh, it was operated by the builders, by, by Ledbetter and Honeyman for a while, but then it was finally bought and leased and then bought by, the, by William Barnum and run by his family as the world's only family owned and operated railroad. When they built this railroad, they built, they bought full-size railroad cars, full-size passenger cars, full-size box cars, full-size flat cars, but they bought this adorable little underpowered wood-fired steam engine which looked so unlike what you expect a locomotive to look like that it got derisive nicknames. It was called the tea kettle, it was called the, the peanut roaster, because it looked more like a popcorn wagon than a locomotive. And it was so underpowered that it would actually have trouble getting to Jacksonville. And if, if it was overloaded or if the tracks were wet, if there were a thunderstorm, it couldn't get to Jacksonville. Even on the best days, it would, there were little humps in the track that might have to take a second or a third run at to back up and take another run at to get over the hump to get into the depot in Jacksonville. Uh, William Barnum, this 13-year-old railroad conductor, as they're slowly chugging be behind the peanut roaster to Jacksonville, a traveling salesman asks him, can't you go any faster? He says, well, yeah, I can, but I have to stay with the train. And the railroad was eventually bought by other companies uh, and, and eventually extended up into the Jacksonville Hills. They got a, got a bigger engine and used that for a logging railroad. Not very far into uh, Jacksonville, but they did do some logging up there. And uh, around 1905, 19 or so, I'd have to look it up, that railroad became the genesis of, of the Pacific and Eastern Railroad, which was in theory going to go into the Klamath country, going to go all across Eastern Oregon and connect with the Union Pacific, the object to give the Southern Pacific some, some competition and lower freight rates.